Mr. Beagley. Hey there, guys and gals. It's Gerbeagley with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagley, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called Planetarium, and it actually looked very, very interesting to me just due to the fact that it was basically a planet generator. It just randomly generates planets for you, which is really, really cool. I dig the concept of that. It seems very low-key and laid-back, and, like, there's not very much gameplay, but that's a lot of the games that I play on this channel, and I'm okay with that because I am just recently back from PAX, and I'm still not 100% uh, recovered. Uh, Morgan was sick the entire weekend, and there were a lot of other sick people that were around me, so I'm doing my best to stave off sickness, I believe, so I apologize if it sounds like I'm a little less energized than I normally am, but I figured a nice chill game like this would be perfect for both myself and for you guys who are looking to sort of just like ease back into my channel. Now I'm very sorry that I didn't have some videos up the past couple days, but I will do my best to get back to daily videos once more. But anyway, let's dive into this game. It's got really cool atmosphere, very cool music uh, right now. I like that a lot. So this is my home planet that it started me on. And you'll see there in the corner, it's a jar buff. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's just like a crazy word. And this planet is called uh, Copahal 9. Um, so it's a pretty big planet from the looks of it. It's got a whole bunch of moons orbiting around it, which uh, there's Nagahol, there's I, or one maybe, uh, Borkban, <laughs> and Tapon, and I think there's one more. Yeah, uh, there's one that's, ah, it's going all over the place. Nope, that's Nagahol again. Regardless, this is a really cool concept, though. I like the idea of this just through the fact that I love space. I'm enamored with space. I love the idea of exploring space and branching out as humanity. If we can someday colonize the stars, it would be incredible. Obviously not the stars, but, you know, colonize space. But it'd be very, very cool if we could find other uh, planets that we could live on. Now, I'm not exactly sure what happens with these buttons. Oh, okay, so that... That reverses the rotation. This one speeds up the rotation of the planet. That's really cool. I don't know what this thing is. What's this? What's that? Oh! Oh, there's like a little rocket! It shot like a little rocket off of the planet surface. Okay, so this would be like if we had colonized this, I guess. And maybe we've launched rockets into space. That's really, really damn cool! I like that. I don't know what this bar does either. Oh! Oh, it kind of like changes sort of like how much water is on the planet I guess maybe it just changes like based on like the ice caps on the planet warming or something like that and simulates that I have no idea that's really really cool now there's a question mark that could either be help or randomize are my two uh, guesses here if it's randomized that'd be really awesome because it would send us to another planet and then this is actually a bar where we can type in different words ourselves and generate new planets which is really really cool so let's go ahead and use the question mark first Oh yeah, okay, so that made a brand new planet for us to look at. This is called Reddick, and it has two moons, Yar and Shachia? Shachia? I'm not exactly sure to how, to how to say that one. But this is really cool. I wish there was a way to sort of like zoom in on the planets a little bit more. That's what I was hoping this bar was going to be for. But, uh, you know, it's still really, really cool. Oh, there's a tiny moon too. Hamissia. That's really cool that it shows the orbit of the moon as well. Oh, another tiny moon. Nagasaur. That's neat. That's so freaking neat. I love this. This is like really exploring space. So I wonder what would happen, though, if we typed in, I don't know, the name of a planet that we know. Something like Earth. That would be really cool if we could find Earth. So let's show us Earth. Oh, cool. Earth is looking good. Earth's looking... Oh, what the heck? Uh, top... Topomor? Topomor? Topomar? I don't know how to say that one. If you're looking for Earth, you'll have to try harder than that. What is beyond all numbers? What the heck? Whoa, that's so weird. Okay, so I guess there is a little bit of gameplay. There's like a quest that I can find Earth. Uh, so beyond all numbers would be infinity, right? I'm guessing that's what it wants me to type in. Are we going to find the infinity planet? Infinitus. Oh, that's so cool. Very good. And what is outside of space? Uh, I don't know. Um, nothing, maybe? Is that what it wants me to do? So this is like a crazy sort of scavenger hunt that we're going through the stars. This is so cool, guys. I really, really like this. I love exploring the universe. So nothing. No? Whoa. What the heck? The whole screen went black. Uh, oh, and we can, we can still launch rockets out of nothing because nothing, oh, nothing is actually there. There's like a little, there's a little planet called 
um, Aro Arogion, and it's super, super tiny. That's wild. So this rocket is orbiting around this nothingness. That's so cool. So maybe is it darkness? What happens at darkness? Whoa, okay. Ooh, perseverance. Carved 100 meters into the ground and spanning 1,000 kilometers is what appears to be a star chart. The holes corresponding to Earth, Ranor, Titania, and three other planets are filled with some sort of liquid. There are signs of life in the past here, but presently, no life remains. What the hell? This is so cool! Okay, so we just found like an alien planet where they were like watching Earth and other planets, Ranor and Titania. What happens if we go to Ranor and Titania? What is going on? This is so cool! So there's like actual lore in this game, like this sort of alien race uh, that, that I guess like was watching us this whole time. An advanced civilization once lived here, a lush and beautiful metropolis in the past. Present day Ranor is simply empty. That's kind of sad. That's really bleak. Borkis too. And what was the other one? Titania? Okay, I can do that one. What's at Titania? It's Rezi. All the trees are dead husks, but up in the canopies, there are still occasional tree houses. A hundred meters or more above the now dry and barren floor. No life remains. So we're finding all of these dead planets. That's so weird. That's so crazy. So what happens if we go back to infinity and uh, we have to go find out what's outside of space? Would it be time? Because like, you know, space time continuum. There's like time. Does it exist with space or does it not exist with space? You know, there's many theories out there arguing both points. So let's try time. Is time. Ooh, this is a cool one, regardless of if this is the right answer. Well done. Now go to the end. What the heck? Kronos. Oh, that's cool that it's called Kronos and it's a time planet. I like that. Okay, um, I guess we can go to end. Alright, what's at end? Not quite, but very close. Armageddon is the name of that planet. Whoa, this game is so cool, guys. I didn't think that it was going to be this deep. I thought that we were just going to look at a bunch of really cool planets out in space together while this groovy, relaxing music went on. But there's actually more to this. So do we type in the end entirely? There, okay, I can't add a space. That's fine. All right, the end. What's going on here? Ragnarok. Good. So then what is Earth to the human race? Guys, we're getting really close to finding Earth. This is so cool. Um, home. That's what I'm going to guess. This is home to us, right? Yeah? Is this Earth? Heliort Row. I don't think that's Earth. It looks kind of like Earth. But okay, what is what is Earth to humans? Uh, the start, maybe? Is it the start? The start of our, our species? Or Origamus? Nice try, but no. Here's another hint. If in a thousand years, the whole universe were drawn out on a graph larger than anyone could imagine, where would you find Earth? Um... The center? Is it the center? Maybe the center? Nope. Okay, the center doesn't fit. So would it just be center? Hello? Another word for it. Uh, middle? This is so cool, guys. I'm so excited to find Earth now. I've never been more excited to find Earth on like a star chart. This is very cool. Another word for it. The answer is in one of the names. Like one of the names of the planets we just guessed? There was Origimus. Is it origin? Like the origin point of the human race would be origin, right? Uh, or would be Earth. Terra. Oh! Oh, we found it! Okay, cool! We found Earth, guys! This is so freaking cool! The birthplace of the human race, before they fled to Sardonia. Sardonia? And beyond. Also, the first known location of the terrifying... Is that Bob? I think I see Bob! Hi, Bob! Okay, so it cut off the terrifying what? What was terrifying? What happened? Um, does the answer lie with Bob? Let's find out. Uh, man, that Bob guy, right? Everyone loves him. He's just so swell. Gosh, I wish I were as cool as Bob. <laughs> so there's like little hidden jokes in this game too. That's so funny. That's super goofy. So what happens if I type in poop? What happens if poop? Uh, Titan Tsai. Nothing funny. What the, What about shit? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this in a completely immature direction. Really? <laughs> it's called really. Wow, you're so mature. Okay, you know what? I can do better than that. Fuck. We're gonna look at planet fuck. <laughs> no, wow, you're so mature. But it's a different planet. That's kind of cool that it does all sorts of things. So uh, I guess that's that. So let's try to find Sardonia. 
That was the name of the other planet where the human race allegedly fled from some terrifying force. So is that going to pop up anything? Sardonia Prime. This is so cool, guys. I feel like I'm going through a sci-fi story at my own pace by guessing and following, like, a trail of breadcrumbs. That's really neat. All right, anyway. A desolate wasteland of deserts and acrid swamps compared to old Earth but a welcomed respite for the destitute remains of the human race. Some years after humans arrived, settlement ships were sent off from Sardonia to New Earth, uh, Aquatos, Hope, and New Eden. Present presently, no life remains. So we can continue to follow this breadcrumb trail, guys. We can go to New Earth, Aquatos, uh, Hope, and New Eden. Okay, let's go to New Earth. This is so exciting. This is really cool. I love this. And it's very, very relaxing. Even though I'm getting really hyped up about this, this is really laid back. I love that the music sort of just gives you this, like, really low-key vibe. This very, like, explore-at-your-own-pace feeling. I don't feel like I'm rushed or anything like that. But I'm excited to unlock more stuff. So, New Earth. Briefly home to a colony of humans, only the ruins of a small settlement remain. What kept destroying us? Was it just humanity itself? There are signs of large, lush forests which once surrounded the settlement. Presently, no life remains. That's really sad. Okay. Um, Aquatos was the name of another one. Aquatos. Let's see what's at Aquatos. Aquatos Omicron. Near the South Pole is a sprawling city with high-density farms, large transport networks, and a spaceport. But everyone seems to have left in a hurry. Presently, no life remains. What happened? What? Like, seriously, I'm getting a little bit creeped out. Like, I know this is all fake and this is all in the future, but what was chasing us? What was, like, making us feel horrible enough that we had to leave? I have no idea. Was it just war and famine and things like that? Or was it actually something? So, let's go to Hope. Hope was another one. And then I think New Eden was the name of the last one. All right, Hope 4. The metal wreckage of the settlement ship is the only sign that humans ever touched this planet. Presently, no life remains. So they crashed and they died before they actually got to settle it. That's really sad. All right, and then New Eden. That's a cool name for a planet. I dig that. All right, so what's at New Eden? Wow, this is a long one. Home to a human settlement for 200 years, New Eden gave its occupants a life on solid ground again, free from pursuit for generations. So we were being chased. Something was actually hunting us down. That's scary. I wonder if it had to do anything with the darkness planet that I found that was watching Earth the whole time. Maybe those things that lived in the trees and the other planets, like, hunted us down. Or it was a completely different planet and it hunted down those civilizations as well at Ranor and Titania. I have no idea. This is really cool. Uh, the population grew, production and technology returned and surpassed what it had been before the darkness the darkness, came to old earth. Humanity once again found peace and with it complacency. And then, as it had to Sardonia and all the rest, the darkness came again. As the darkness closed in on New Eden, a single settlement ship survived its launch and set its course for exile. Presently, no life remains. I seriously do have goosebumps, guys. This is a really cool story hidden in this very low-key, relaxing, planet-viewing game. That's awesome. I love that there's so much to this. This is really, really awesome. So the darkness is what was chasing us, and we found the home planet of the darkness where they charted out what planets to attack, it sounds like. This is really crazy. So Exile is the name of this next planet here. Exile. After a timeless period, drifting through space, so nearly destroyed in the escape from New Eden, the settlement ship eventually landed on this small, harsh planet. The air is thin, the flora is bitter and tastes of almond, and the fauna is deadly and inedible, but it's home. A new settlement ship is still under construction, and a comprehensive list of potential planets has been compiled and is available for viewing in the planetarium. That's what we're... That's this game. So the planetarium isn't just us stargazing. This is us stargazing from exile towards new planets that humanity can settle. That's so cool. The terrible darkness appears to have stopped following, at least for now. So this is the end of our journey, guys. This is really freaking cool. This is awesome. Like, seriously, this was a cool game. Wow. 
This is really neat. I love that there's like this sense of humor in it and we can like go to Planet Bob or Planet Shit or whatever. And that's really funny, but there's so much more to this. There's so many things to be explored. And we just managed to get through, I guess, what would be like the hidden story mode of the game. And I dig that. I really, really like this a lot. And I hope that you guys enjoyed viewing it, but I'm probably going to call this video here because I think that's probably about all that we can explore, unless there's like something else hidden there. But I think that we found everything that could be, uh, you know, hidden here. This is really, really awesome. But I like this so much. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye bye. Derp, baby.